Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. The subject of my vlog today is finance romance in the Philippines. What's a man to do? But before I get started, let me welcome all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your kindness, your generosity, and your support of my channel. It's truly been amazing, and I'll never take that for granted. We just recently went over 34,000 subscribers and we continue to grow that's a that's a good thing a lot more women watching my channel and I'll never take it for granted I never saw this coming and that's why I try to do my best to make my vlogs inspirational sometimes motivational sometimes entertaining but most of the time informative never trolling or putting anybody down let me put this little small Disclaimer out here. It's nothing evolutionary or earth shattering about this vlog today. It's just another attempt by me to open the eyes of the naive, the egomaniacs, and the people in denial about why these beautiful young women in the Philippines date us older men. Hey, my Mutak. Good morning. When I first started coming to the Philippines, the first few times, man, I was so naive that I missed the connection between finance and romance. The concept was so foreign to me, even though I had been in the service before. And it didn't make matters any better that it's so subtle. We never talk to the women about it. And that kind of fuels the denial. But now in 2022, I'm like, okay, if I got to pay for it then, like everything else in the Philippines, it's going to cost less. And that's the way I look at it now. But make no mistake about it. The reason these young, beautiful women over here are attracted to us. It's financially. If you want it, if you want to make it, or make her romantically uh, involved, uh, romantically interested in you, then there's some things you can do to help the situation. And I'll talk about that a little later. But our egos get in the way. Our pride blocks us from reality. See, this is where I get my argument from. Because we'll come up with every scenario in the world as to why these young, beautiful women are laying next to us. When the only logical reason is money. Once you come over here and you see the crushing and complete poverty that some women uh, come from and, and they live in. And you, you're going to be convinced too. You know, I read a lot and the 14th century teacher, Occam, he said something that's so um, fitting for this vlog. He said, the simplest reason is always the best one. You know, instead of trying to fool yourself and, oh, she wants me for me, and, uh, you know, it's not like that with me and my Filipina. Just use your common sense, man. And just think of the only logical reason why she would be interested in you. A lot of times, you know, it's money. Another thing I want to talk about is, Again, this there's nothing. Mayan Buntag. Hello. Good morning. We're looked at as predators over here. See, the Filipina gets a pass. See? And any wrongs we encounter over here, people think, well, you deserve it. 
You never should have went over there trying to take advantage of them women. And that's why we need to tell our stories. We need to set the record straight. All right. It's very, very important that we do that. You know, this subject is very important. You know, a lot of people say, man, you know, you don't need to talk about that anymore. We know everything that we need to know about her motives. Now, this is significant. And we should discuss it more because, like you said, you think that you know uh, or everyone else knows what's going on over here. I doesn't care. As they say, you know, so apparent. Meanwhile, thousands upon thousands of unsuspected men come from around the globe and fall victim to this ruse. See, you don't have to be a genius. Good morning, I am Boontak, with my favorite tricycle drivers before. You don't have to be a genius to figure out why we come over here and want to date these beautiful young women. Uh, but I think it's imperative that we understand and discuss, uh, or better understand and discuss, you know, the motives behind younger women here and their willingness to be with older men. You know, people always say, oh, it's like this everywhere. Hey, my am Bulldog. And we tell ourselves this over and over without uh, well, let me put it like this. We fell into see clearly is what I want to say. The two variables that makes this specific specific to the Philippines. Okay, the poverty and the willing young ladies who are not prostitutes, by the way. And the thousands and thousands of Western men who come so far to date and marry these women. See? That's what makes it different. There's no other place in the world that you can say this happens. Most of the times, you know, people talk about the DR. Well, you know, I've never been to the DR, but every YouTube video I watch, those are prostitutes over there, a lot of them. These women over here are just normal women who see an opportunity to escape the crippling poverty that many of them that, that, that exist for many of them. And they see opportunity of dating and marrying foreigners as a way to escape that. But what we can do to kind of help with this situation, first of all, just be honest with ourselves. You know, it is what it is. If you're going to have to pay for it, at least it's going to cost less in the Philippines like everything else does. It's It helps when she's honest. See, when I met Merlin, she was up front. She said, you know, I'm tired of struggling. I want somebody to help me. And, you know, you can take it for what it is. You can... Um, Accept it, uh, I run from it. But it helps when, when they're honest. It helps if there's a spark there to begin with. She doesn't have to fall in love with you. It doesn't have to be love at first sight. But it helps when there's a spark. There's a, there's a real attraction there from the beginning. It really helps. It helps when you treat them good. You can't come over here and mistreat them. You treat them good. I remember my mother used to tell us this. She says, if you treat people good, even your worst enemy will soon come around and start eating out of your hands. And this has been my situation throughout my life. I just continue to treat people good, no matter how they treat me. Because eventually... They're going to say, hey, this guy, 
He just keeps on treating me good no matter how much I talk about him, no matter how much I put him down. But that's been my experience even over here. Those are some things, man, that can help us to turn it from finance to romance. But there's no guarantees over here. Some of us are going to fall victim. We're going to fall through the, cr through the cracks. And we're going to lose over here. We're going to miss all the red flags. We're going to miss all the warnings. Because we're either naive we're egotistical, or we're in denial. And that's why these videos need to be made more and more, especially by foreign men vloggers who come over here. We can't talk about this enough because people think it's apparent. Hey, all oh, duh. Then why do so many of us lose our shirts over here? Why do so many of us get heartbroken? Many never recover. That's because it's not apparent. People are so naive just like me. Wow, here's a nice house for rent. This is Margarita Village. Where I live is Margarita Village Extension. And something like this in this neighborhood is probably going to cost you about anywhere from $300 to $400 a month. But it's a nice house, as you can see. It has a nice lot, secure, gate, I am going to talk, hey good morning, but yeah, I am going to talk, yeah, uh, no, uh, Margarita Village Extension, yeah, yeah, so yeah, we need to talk about this more, we need to discuss it and try to understand what her motives is, because it doesn't take a genius to figure out why we're here. But we think we know her. And we don't. It's a steep learning curve over here. And my vlogs are act as a support group. You know, when people come together, we share our experiences to help other people avoid the obstacles, similar obstacles that they face. It's that simple, guys. So, thank you so much for stopping by today. I really appreciate it. If you're in America, it's getting late. Before you let your head hit the pillow, please find somebody to help. But if you don't want them late grocery runs, beer runs, weed runs, just getting off second shift or you're on your lunch break, and you see somebody out in the street or wherever you see them, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink. Give them a few dollars if you're in the Philippines. It's early as you can see. I guess it's about 7.30 a.m. on a Friday morning. What is this? March the 4th, 2022. I'm walking around here in St. Carlos City, Negros Occidental, in my old neighborhood, Margarita Village. There's no excuse why we shouldn't try to find somebody over here to help today. I help somebody every day. And it doesn't matter who it is. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Take care, stay safe, stay COVID free. I'll see you next time. Before I get off here, I just want to tell you that my initial contact with Marilyn was financial. It wasn't romantic or anything like that. There was no romance involved. She needed help. She was struggling. But one thing we had going for us was a spark. And we fanned that spark until it became a, a raging fire and it's still raging today. My buddy John, rest in peace buddy, Moonshine, his situation was the same with Janessa. Matter of fact, Janessa wasn't even his initial target. It was her cousin. She was very hesitant to deal with John. He was older. She didn't want an older man, but John treated her so good that she couldn't resist his charms. And she eventually fell in love. 
he did a lot of those things that I talked about. But this video is not evolutionary. It's not earth-shattering, guys. But I made it, and I'm going to make more like this to help the naive, the egomaniacs, and people in denial. So take care, everybody. See you next time. My next video is going to be update on the building of that guest house. By the way, I believe I'm the only YouTube vlogger in the world who's building an exclusive guest house for his subscribers. It's not letting you share a room in my house. It's an exclusive and I'm proud of that. Y'all deserve it. Because any success that I've had. Hey, Mom, go talk. It's really yours. It's my way of giving back. It's my way of saying thank you. I'm going to walk on down here to the end of the street. Everybody's starting to wake up now. In uh, Margarita Village. Hey, good morning. My Mom, go talk. Hello, good morning. <laughs> good morning. I am going to talk. Hey, my am going to talk. You see, the woman, the young lady that I passed, that's what's waiting for you over here. See, 99 times out of 100, she's not on a dating site. It's people like that that you can just. You're walking around minding your own business. You see them. You saw that smile she gave me. That's one of those, like John said, all hellos are not the same. That's one of those, hello. She couldn't have been no more than about 22. Just beautiful, man. A native Filipino, perfect. How you doing, man? I'm going to talk. This is where we rent our vans whenever we go somewhere. We rent right here. Yeah, perfect shape. But if I were to try to talk to her, it would be financially at first. Then I'd have to transition that. But I know what to do now. Take care, everybody.